Springfield woman has died overnight in a car crash almost two months after she lost her mom, daughter, and her dog in a shooting on Berkshire Avenue. Welcome everyone to Western Mass News at 6. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Abby Carnevale. Her family confirmed to the, new, the news to us earlier today that it happened on Parker Street just after midnight. Our Western Mass News reporter Kristen Burnell had just spoken to her hours before this happened and she now joins us live with more. Kristen? Chris and Abby, just hours before her passing, Stephanie Croto told me she was ready to tell her story. She talked about how she wanted to remember and honor the legacy of her mother, Kim, and her 10-year-old daughter, Aubriana. We have received her family's approval to now share this interview. Awful. Painful. Um, unbearable. Those are just three words that came to Stephanie Croto's mind when she described how she had felt since August 14th. It's a tragedy that sent shockwaves across Massachusetts when her upstairs neighbor entered her apartment that day, shooting and killing her mother, Kim Fairbanks, and her dog, and then shooting two of her children before killing himself. I knew Victor very personally. I'm sure everyone knows there was, you know, six years of memories that we created with him. He's vacationed with my family and stuff. We leaned on each other a lot. So that's another reason why everything's so confusing. Her 12-year-old daughter and 5-year-old son survived, but 10-year-old Aubriana died a few days later. Stephanie reached out to Western Mass News this week, ready to tell her story. She spoke with us on Thursday, dressed from head to toe in their honor, complete with a butterfly painted on her fingernail. She says was in memory of her mother, her best friend. My mom is, she was all about like family, especially like her friends that she considered family. And I always want to keep, like, at least with my my siblings and my nieces and my nephews, I want to keep what she always had going, the big Christmases, the big Thanksgivings, all that. That's what I want to do in my mom's honor for her. Devastation striking again just hours later when Stephanie died in a car crash in Springfield. When we spoke with her earlier, her message was very clear, how she was going to honor her mother and daughter and her gratitude for the community. And I just want to say thank you to all the outpouring love and support from everyone because it's been continuous throughout the entire time. And I want to continue um, raising awareness for it. And um, like the Mass Riders, we, we're going to do a yearly annual, annual ride um, in honor of my mom and Aubriana and in general gun violence. And as for her other two children, she described them as warriors dealing with the unimaginable but admiring their bravery. They do have PTSD. Um, they're in extensive therapy. Um, CJ has, instead of like crying like us would, he does a lot of behavioral outburst. Um, Michelle, she, I think we have come to the conclusion she might be in still a little bit of shock. And um, each day is a new day. A GoFundMe to help with Stephanie's funeral costs have been set up. You can find that link over on our website. Reporting live in studio, Kristen Burnell, Western Mass News.